Hello, everyone. My name is Natasha Sega, and I am the teaching assistant of the International Master in Climate Change and Diversity Sustainable Territorial Development. Today, I would like to give you some hints and tips to submit a successful application to the International Master. So let's go and have a look to all the procedure together. So the first thing to do is to navigate the website where you can find all the information you need in order to apply to the International Master. First of all, we recommend you to have a look at the requirements and application procedures, which will guide, guide you to, uh, to submit a complete and successful application. Let's go to, to the requirements. So as you can read here, the master is open to both non-EU and EU candidates. So candidates for, from all over the world are welcome to join in the, the master. The requirements uh, are to, to have completed or to complete by June 30th of 2022, this year, um, the first cycle of academic degree of at least three years or 180 credits. We, you need to have also a very good command of English for all the path and uh, Spanish or Portuguese or French, depending of, on the path you are going to choose. We um, would like to underline that the choice of the path, of the academic path, is really and strictly linked to the knowledge of the second language. So if you do not know anything about Spanish, please do not um, send the application for the path one, because in this case, your application will not be considered. Also note that uh, a language certificate of both languages languages is not required to be eligible because your the level of the knowledge of the language will be assessed during the Zoom interview if you will be selected. So, but it is very important that you add in your curriculum all the experience and the level of knowledge you have uh, uh, through a self-declaration about these two languages. In this way, we will be able to understand where you have learned and if you have learned the second language. The, then, um, of course, you need to have a personal interest in sustainable development, and this will be uh, assessed in the personal statement form that you will be required to fill in during the application. Here you can see the deadlines for the application. We are currently in the second call that we are go is going to be closed on the 26th of April, and this is the last call that is open to everyone, while the last and third call, open until June 7, will be open only to European candidates and there will be no possibility of asking a scholarship. So let's go in to see how to apply 